Okay, so I ran out of video. My phone was full. So I finished heat embossing my image and I, I really like the wow. It did a really good job and it melted very easily. So now we're on to the watercoloring part. So for the colors that I've picked, I have picked, I've put down a uh, fired brick. Put a little bit more because it dried up. Sorry, I, I'm doing this one hand because I lost my videotaper. He decided that Xbox was more fun and he's refused to come back to help me. So just wait, he will be in trouble later. So I'm doing this one handed. So please forgive me if I go off camera. So that color was picked. Ooh, focus. Is it going to focus? See, I'm one handed. So I don't know if it's going to focus. It's picked raspberries. And then I used fire brick. Now I'm going to stick on some festive berries. And then I am going to stick on some barn door. And I'm just going all beside each other because it ends up being all mixed up anyways. Okay, so those are those colors. And I have a little bit of green there from something else that I did. So I'm just going to remove it. So this is just an acrylic block that I've put on to a piece of white paper just so I can see the colors. So what I do is I have a jar of clean water and my jar of dirty water to rinse my brush. So I'm going to bring these closer. So I take a nice big fluffy brush, nothing special. This one just says it's uh, three and a quarter flat China brush. I don't know, just had it in my stash. So it's soaking wet. It's soppy wet. So I'm just going to take it and blot, like I am blotting water all over the poinsettia area. And I'm letting the water run off the edge of the poinsettia, as you can see here. And it's pretty wet. So now what I do is I go with my little brush which this one here uh, is a number three. I just like this tip here. It's good for smooshing. So I just take some pink and then I just touch, pounce it. And then I rinse it off and I just let the colors bleed. And then I'm gonna go pick up a different color and I'm gonna pounce it like this all around. And I Clean off my brush. I'm gonna go get another color. Again, I'm pouncing it all around. And rinse off my brush and go get some of this color and pouncing all around. Now I like to go and pick up some more of that pink, and I kind of pick here and there where I'd like to add some pink and I'm going to add a little bit of pink here and my petals a little bit too thick over here so what I do is I just take a piece of paper towel and I go and I soak it up like this and it just soaks right into the paper towel like that and then I turn it and soak it up some more soak it up some more here and as you can see, there's some spots, like right here, it's really thick in color, and some spots are white. And I like that, because when it dries, it has a unique look to it. And you can manipulate that, too. So I think I want a little bit more pink down in this corner. So I'm just tapping it into the water and blotting it. And I like a little bit of white space, too, but I want some of this color. And what happens is the water is being trapped by the heat embossing. It acts as like little wells in it. And I want the middle to be a little bit darker. Because when you lay the colors one on top of the other, it will get darker. My phone's ringing. I'm sorry. I don't know who it is. So I'm not going to answer it. Um, they can leave a message. They'll call back. So I'm just going to blot a little bit of this. And sometimes I like to pick it up 
and let the water run and that's how you get the cool see the cool runoff okay so I usually let this um, air dry um, here I have a little bit too much of a white space so I'm just gonna take clear water and just dab a little bit of clear water and it just picks up the rest of the color and I'm just gonna move it around a bit so because of time I'm gonna heat set this for you um, with my mm, my little heat gun I just have the stampin up heat gun so it's going to be noisy I apologize but I'll try to get this dried up fast I just stop. I wish I knew how to do video editing and splicing. I'm hoping my daughter can attach video one and video two together um, and that we can take out some of this heat drying. If not, I have to do two separate videos and post the first one and then post the second one. Reason I don't use the heat gun very often to dry the paint, the ink, is because I, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my heat embossing effect. It, Cause sometimes if it gets too hot, your heat embossing will remelt and and basically come off the paper. So I'm trying to heat it from a distance so I don't get too close to the clear embossing. Okay, this should be enough to be able to demonstrate the next step because when your ink is spreading, it spreads to wherever it's wet. So I'm trying not to have the green spread too much into the red. A little bit is okay, but I try to keep the colors pretty separate. So now I'm going to clear off my ink off of my acrylic block. I would have actually normally made another panel with this. I would have taken a panel and done a smooshing technique and kept that panel for another card. But for time's sake, I just going to clean it off. So I have cracked, uh, crushed olive, little smoosh of that. And then I have forest moss, little smoosh of that. And mowed lawn. Do that and I sometimes just take three colors sometimes I take four it's whatever I feel like and then the last one is peeled paint and it can be any color combination you want so again exact same thing so I'm gonna take my brush big fluffy brush with the clean clear water and again puddle it I just dab and puddle and let the water kind of peel up pile whatever the word is uh, puddle up and then I kind of go off the image and let it run a bit and then I got some dribbles and then I'll go with my brush pick up some color and drop it on then I'll pick up another color I forgot to clean my brush there and actually I need a little bit of more water for it to spread and we'll go down here. And I overlap on the colors for it to spread. And I'll rinse my brush. I'll pick up some of this color. Add it to it. I'm trying to follow <laughs> my my brush and and my coloring. And just a tad of this. And I'm gonna add some more water to that because I'm not liking that dark green color very much so I'm gonna go back and get some of this bright green and add it over top and I'm getting kind of a muddied effect here right here so I'm gonna take 
my paper towel and pick it up some of it just so it doesn't get too muddied and then I'll rinse my brush and kind of add more water here and here's a little bit thick so I'm gonna soak it up a bit not much but I really like this bright green so I want to kind of manipulate it and drop a few bright greens into the wells of the heat embossed area so I get that look and then uh, kind of running it off the edge following that water splatter and then I got some scattered water droplets and I don't want the ink to go touch those so I dry those off and I kind of want this to run down more so I'm going to just pick it up and pounce it and let it kind of run and then we will heat set it again I'll show you how it looks when it's done See, as you're air drying, that puddle would just dry solid and soak up into the paper. But as you're drying with the gun, it moves it around a bit, which gives it a fun effect also. But I like how I get those deep colors from the puddles in each section. And as I'm mass producing, of course, I do all one color. I'll do 10 panels at once. I do all the greens first. And then I let those air dry, and by the time I get to the 10th panel, the first panel's dry, and then I can start on the red. Okay, so that should be good. Got all the petals gone. Okay, so then I would take my stamp set, and I would use, this one is called Embellished Ornament, and I take the Thinking of You at Christmas, and then I put it right there and then I put this one here with loving wishes for a bright and beautiful season I put that on the inside and then I will stick in, stick in some sequins and as you can see I did get my card dirty from my coloring oh I guess I have to add more sequins so I'm gonna have to put a sequin there and some there that's from me uh, tapping my brush on the water pot Anyways, okay, well, I hope that this uh, tutorial helped you, and I'm hoping that I can upload these videos without any issues. Thanks. Bye.